Hi everyone. Today I want to talk to you about the beach body experience. So I know that a lot of us um, have seen other direct marketers and we've seen people post their links, buy this, buy that, whatever. And that is great and I fully support any network marketer, any home-based business person, but that is different from what we do at Beachbody. So you will notice that on our team page, pinned to the top of the group always is our team calendar. The physical calendar, like what it looks like for the month, and then there's a Google Doc, which you can open and it'll like have links and dates to the group so that you, you know, can know where the groups are and what they are for. So the team calendar is pretty much the same every single month. I just change up the names and the topics, but my goal the first two weeks of the month is to hit success club. And my goal the second two weeks of the month is to see who is a rock star in my challenge groups and invite them to coaching and really concentrate on the team and helping them reach their goals. So I have very clear goals throughout the month and I really stay concentrated. So the first Monday of every single month, I run a week long challenge in our free group. So our free group is called Eat Clean, Train Mean 2017 Accountability Group. And it's for anyone and everyone where you are their coach, or they don't have another coach. So I have everyone fill out my form for me to be their free coach, just so I can ensure that they don't have another coach. And um, that's really important to me. But if you don't want to do that, that's fine. It's just important to ensure that they don't have another coach on another team. So however you want to do that, like I said, I do that having them fill out my free form. And you can add people to that all the time. It is ongoing. It will be going on the entire year. Um, so that is the first thing. And then the first Monday of every month, we run a very specific challenge in there. So um, the January challenge was a crock pot challenge, right? And um, the February challenge was um, a clean eating challenge. And the March challenge was a freezer meal challenge. Um, so you could actually like freeze your meals and um, have them ready to go when you got home from work, right? Um, and then I don't know what next month will be, but the first Monday of every single month, we run this free challenge. So the group is always open. You can always add to it. But the first Monday, we have a very concentrated challenge. The rest of the time, it's just sort of posting and adding value and getting to know people, right? So I have a list of like 50 people and I use Streak, which is a Gmail add-on. Everything I use is free, okay? Streak. Um, I use Google Notes and I use pen and paper to keep track of who I'm going to be reaching out to join my free group. And then once they're in my free group, I can begin to form a relationship with them and invite them to my challenge group, which is for anyone that purchases a program or Shakeology or the performance line or both. Um, and that becomes, you know, the, the next step, if you will. List one, they're in they're on my list to be reached out to. List two, I got them in my three group, free group. List two, I start chatting with, forming relationships. They get in my paid group, right? They end up committing to something. If they don't, they stay on list two. Some people stay on list two for years. I'm sure there are some of you watching this that told me no over and over and over again, right? Um, and then once they're in my challenge group and I see them rocking it, I'm gonna invite them to the coaching opportunity. And the third or fourth Monday of the month, I'm going to run an informational group about what we do as coaches. And I'm going to invite them to that, right? So I always have something to invite to. I invite to my free group. That group starts. I stop inviting to that. I invite to my challenge group. That group starts. I stop inviting to that. I invite to my um, informational coaching group. That group ends. And I start inviting to my free group again, right? So it's just a cyclical thing but it keeps me super focused throughout the month. It makes sure that I help at least three people in the first two weeks of the month, right? Because I'm starting my um, challenge group that second Monday of the month. And I'm going to, I know I'm going to be inviting to that. And I have a whole slew of people I can invite because I had that free group the first week of the month. And I know those people are interested in health and fitness. And so I can start forming those relationships and inviting them to join me in my challenge group where people um, make a purchase to get in there. 
So that's really the process. It's super simple. Um, it doesn't need to be complicated. You guys are always welcome in our team groups, which like I said, is pinned to the calendar at the top of our coaches page. But I do ask that if you join and you wanna add people, that you upload something to the file sections, recipe, meal plan, something, so that you're adding value and now you're active in the group so that you post in there at least every other day because your challengers that you're adding, they don't care about me and they don't care about the rest of the coaches on the team. They care about you, you are their coach, and you invited them, right? So if you wanna engage them, you have to stay engaged yourself. I'm not saying that means everyone you invite is gonna stay engaged, but just as like an overall rule of thumb. So that is sort of the way that I work things in my business. You have to obviously figure out what works for you, but this has worked for me. It took me a solid year or so to figure this out. So if you're like struggling or floundering or don't really know what to do, don't worry about it. You will totally get what you need and you will find something that works for you. I just want to share what really has worked for me, right? So free group into some sort of challenge group where people have to purchase a program or Shakeology of the performance line into the coaching opportunity. Simple, right? Like super easy, clear cut, um, no stress. I feel like very, very straightforward. Um, and like I said, you don't feel like you're inviting to so many things at once. You're just fighting to one thing at a time and you're keeping these lists of people going. Figure out how you're best organized. Like I said, I use Streak, I use Google Notes, and I use like pen and paper. That's what works best for me, but that doesn't mean that is what is gonna work best for you. Um, I always have a list of at least 50 people going, and I will tell you in my Streak, which is like my entire email database, I have almost 2,000 contacts. So um, I'm definitely trying my best to keep track of people and make it easiest on myself, right? I use Facebook Messenger, I use Instagram um, direct message, but email is easiest because if Facebook or Instagram disappeared one day, I, I always have my email. Um, so I always have something to fall back on. So please ask any questions that you may have on this. I'm more than happy to answer them. Um, I know that things can be overwhelming when you start this business, but the goal is really to simplify it down. This business is not, it's not complicated. It's really simple, but it's not easy because you have to actually do the work, right? Like you have to sometimes, you know, swallow your pride and start messaging people, right? And you have to reach out to people and you have to be willing to help people, but it's really simple. It's not, it's not difficult. Um, but it's not easy because you have to kind of mentally get over that hurdle and say, I want to help people. I want to change people's lives. I want to help you get fit. And you can't take it personally when someone says, I'm not ready yet. That's totally okay. Like, it, you have to understand this is much more than a financial decision for someone. It's a mental decision for them to decide that they want to get their life under control and they want to get fit and healthy, right? Like that's a huge decision for someone. This is not makeup. It's not bags. It's, it's not, um, candles and the women that run those businesses do a, an amazing job and men. <laughs> um, but that's not what we do and that's okay. But you have to realize that it's much more, um, than a financial decision for someone. And you can't take it no, like you can't take it personally if someone tells you no. And no is not no forever. It's no right now. I will tell you, I have people I started talking to two years ago that decided to come back around. So, um, any questions? Let me know, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.